What's going on everybody? I hope you're having an amazing day. There was a bombshell report, a bombshell story that came out today about the text from FBI agents who have since been, well one was a lawyer, one was an FBI agent. They were working on the Mueller campaign, they worked on the Hillary Comey investigation situation and there's major mainstream media reports today from every source, not just right-wing conspiracy. I just want to say that as a disclaimer. Um, you know, the news does a good job of spinning everything out of proportion to make people not read it, but I'm going to actually reference NBC, which is a left-leaning news source. Uh, it's not a conspiracy theory. I'm not a whistleblower. I'm not a leaker. This is everywhere. It's on every single news station except for the ones that really don't want people to know. Um, so just that's my disclaimer. It's not nothing out of the realm. Let's wait about 20 seconds for people to get into the live stream. Thank you guys so much. Chip, Carol, Jason, God bless you guys. Thank you for coming in. Uh, much love to the world. As always, you can follow me on Instagram at dreamrare.com. I have shirts and hats at dreamrare.com if you'd like to pick one up. Dreamrare is my Instagram. My Twitter is Legendary Energy. My um, website with all of my links and my contact information is legendary.vision. And I recently launched a website, worldcloudnetwork.com. Go check that out if you'd like to write some good energy section, if you have some good uh, you know, political perspective. We are looking for contributors. So let's wait 10 more seconds and I want to talk about this bombshell story. Once again, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's not like a right wing situation. That's like what the news always tries to spin everything. They try to like guilt people into not reading certain things, but I'm reading directly off of NBC. So this is not from Fox News. It's not from Breitbart. It's from NBC, it's, you know, and it's, it's on every news. I could have wrote, read it from 10 different places. I'm just letting you know what's out there. So. There were two uh, people who worked for the FBI. The one guy's name was Peter Strzok. Uh, it's got some, you know, interesting last name, S-T-R-Z-O-K, and Lisa Page. The guy was an FBI agent. The woman was an FBI lawyer. The guy was very important, Peter Strzok, because he was the one who changed the wording in the Hillary Clinton Comey situation. He changed it from something that was a lot easier to punish to something like, nah. Like something that wasn't a big deal. So he specifically changed the wording. He was also one of the top agents on the Trump-Russia uh, investigation. And the media has pitched this Russia investigation as this bipartisan thing. Robert Mueller is this truth-teller guy who's really not Republican. He's not Democrat. Even though he worked for the FBI under the Obama administration and Hillary Clinton as Secretary of State, where... Uh, Hillary Clinton, other people signed off, and there was a group situation where they sold 20% of the United States uranium to Russia, and Robert Mueller was actually on the tarmac giving Russian KGB agents a sample, um, you know, doing his job. I'm not hating on it, but this guy's not like this truth teller out of left field. I mean, he's directly involved in some of the biggest Russia scandals of the 21st century, but for some reason, uh, nowadays, all it takes is like, all you have to do is hate Trump, and then I guess you believe anything. I don't know. I come from a liberal background. I come from a left-leaning background, but I'm not a moron, and I don't let the media mind control me. Like, I have a brain of my own, and I don't let them use it for me. Apparently, you know, that's not as common as I thought it was, but for some reason, everybody thinks this, this Russian investigation, it's so great, it's so perfect. Robert Mueller, he's a total truth teller, even though he, you know, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter if it's Democrat or Republican. I can see through the BS. But apparently, Republicans and Democrats alike, they play this groupthink game where they think their side's the best, <clears throat> they don't pay attention to the other side, and they just bang, bang, bang. I'm just a little disappointed it's coming from liberals because they have college degrees, they listen to NPR, you know, love science and love justice and freedom. They claim to like be the, the moral beacons of humanity, yet they're ignoring the biggest scandals of the 21st century for Kardashian-style gossip. Very embarrassing. At this point, just kind of pathetic to be honest I'm you know very smart people time to wake up um, so to get back into this Peter Strzok who was a head agent on the Russia investigation was fired two weeks ago you barely heard anything about it because they don't want you to know the whole investigation is kind of a fraud that I'm gonna explain through this thing how they set it up the whole thing was a complete lie every aspect of it was set up the whole basis of it was off of 
something that Hillary Clinton and the DNC funded, a fake debunked dossier that they handed to the FISA courts, had people lying about it. They didn't tell them that they funded it. They didn't tell them all this stuff. They, the DNC was working with this writer for Yahoo News who was referencing the guy who made the fake dossier. They put the story out and then used a Yahoo story as justification to spy on the president of the United States. It's one of the biggest scandals in modern history. Doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican, a liberal, if you care about freedom, equality, fair elections, uh, democracy or the republic or any shred of integrity or truth or honesty, um, it's a huge, huge deal. And I didn't even get into the text messages yet, which is today, but the whole, the whole thing is a giant setup. And then the second that you try to go at it, they're like, obstruction, right? You must be Russian because you tell the truth. Um, it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And everybody on the left, uh, like, you know, myself, the sane progressive, H.A. Goodman, Jared Beck, someone like Julian Assange, who's a classic liberal, the modern day left, unfortunately, and I say this with great love and great compassion and great kindness and great honesty, I'm going to be a little blunt today because that's what a good friend does. When somebody on the left tries to feed the truth to our, our fellow liberals, like I said, Jared Beck, Julian Assange, H.A. Goodman, the same progressive, uh, there's you know millions of people now on YouTube and whatnot, we get screamed at because the modern day liberalism, like I've said a million times, has been hijacked. Doesn't mean Republicans are right about everything. I'm not saying conservatives are the best people in the world and you lost the battle and now you need to cry and join the Republicans. That's never what I said. People just put words into my mouth. What I'm trying to say is you're being lied to. Your whole political I ideology has been hijacked by Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and you know deeper elements and these media sources. NPR is lying to you. I'm sorry. F uh, I'm sorry. Facebook is lying to you. Google's lying to you. Twitter's lying to you. CNN's lying to you. It's not that liberalism is bad. It's not that I think Republicans are better, but I'm just talking about the present moment. I'm not talking about the 1970s. I'm not talking about during the Bush era. I'm talking about right now. I'm not talking about Fox News 10 years ago. Let's focus on the moment. Liberalism has been hijacked. And any honest liberal, instead of getting embraced by liberals, they get chased away because liberals have been mind controlled. Literally, you don't, you're not functioning on your brain because there's been such a, you know, collective effort to just feed you this fake narrative that doesn't exist. And anytime you bring a truth, there's all these false equivalency, equiv uh, whatever, and whatnot. But I'm just trying to be honest. I'm just trying to be nice and fair and, and as peaceful and chill as possible. But like the average, oh, I'm balanced and I listen to NPR and, you know, I listen, I, you know, I le read both sides. You're literally being brainwashed if you can't see through this because the entire Russia investigation was set up off the candidate. Let's run it back real quick. Hillary Clinton bought the DNC. She literally purchased, paid for her entire side of the election, hundreds of thousands of people were unregistered in New York City who wanted to vote for Bernie Sanders. NBC and AP said that the election was over before the California vote, and it wasn't over. So they lied to people to try to get them to, from voting for Bernie Sanders. The guy had 50,000 plus people rallies. She's getting you know, screamed at by LGBT Latino activists, and she can't even do her own rallies because she's not popular. And then somehow she wins her side of the election. They admit that they're using the media to elevate candidates that they don't like. So they gave you Donald Trump. They fed you Donald Trump on a platter. They had debate questions handed to them. She rigged the whole election. If you're a true liberal, don't you want to stop losing? Don't you want the highest elements of government to stop cheating you out of a real liberal or a decent person? I mean, is it really a right-wing conspiracy to say that you're being lied to? You've been duped? You've been deceived? Anybody, probably, there's a million people who could have done better against Donald Trump, but Hillary Clinton wasn't one of them, but she stole all of your news sources. She's like mind-controlled your whole side of the political debate. Is that really a controversial statement? I mean, she rigged the election. The media coverage was rigged. The election was rigged. The primaries were rigged. The debates were rigged. The investigations during, during the election were rigged. They used fake doc documents and fake dossiers, multiple ones that they concocted themselves to give to FISA courts to then say, oh, look what we found. And they're like, all right, let's spy on your political opponent. But they didn't tell them that they funded them because if they did, they wouldn't have got that. I mean, this is corruption on the highest 
levels and still lost. Somebody said, yes, they did all of that. They had the whole celebrities lying on behalf, all of the social media lying on behalf, the FBI covering up their investigations and changing wordings. Every aspect of the election was rigged, not by Russia, not by Trump, not by progressives, not by conservatives, by Hillary Clinton, by the DNC and by higher levels. I mean, at what point do you stop just repeating this like stupid, oh, well, Trump Melania might not like Trump and I don't like Trump. So wake the F up. You're not a liberal. You're a robot. And it's time to start paying attention because in the age of technology and in the age of uh, where we're at with, with digital, you know, supremacy, for lack of a better word, taking over, you better recapture your brain because in 10 years you might literally not own your brain. Elon Musk might own it or they might literally take it out if you're not using it anyway, so you might as well wake up. There's nothing liberal about being in denial. There's nothing liberal or progressive or balanced about ignoring this stuff because you read an NBC said, oh, it's Republicans saying it. Republicans said there's a secret society. Oh, it's Republicans. Oh, they're left-leaning people. Oh, they're Russian. Julian Assange is Russian. Kaylin Johnstone's Russian. Anomaly's Russian. Jimmy Dore's Russian. Oh my God, all the left-leaning, Glenn Greenwald's Russian. I mean, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. Any American liberal who tells the truth is being smeared by the corporate cover-up media and and somehow normal people are okay with it. They're like, well, what are, uh, well Trump's bad too. Aren't you going to say how bad Trump is? Yeah, the only ones who are saying how bad Trump is is Julian Assange, is the liberals, is the Trump supporters. People are talking about drone strikes. People are talking about the wars. People are talking about corrupt things that Trump is doing, it's not the liberals. It's not the liberal media. It's Julian Assange. It's conservatives. It's Trump supporters actually calling him out. It's the liberals in this fake world that doesn't exist. They're like, whoa, do you think he did that because they lied to me on Washington Post? And it's like, no, no, I don't think he did that because I've read all the, the data. I've read all the CNN articles. They're saying Russia hacked Facebook because they ran a one cent Bill O'Reilly ad to, to Republicans. I mean, it's pathetic. It's just straight pathetic. Yes, I've heard both sides. Yes, I'm weighing everything out. And guess what? The, uh, the indication is 100,000 times the corruption has come from the highest levels of government, from the agencies, from Hillary Clinton, from Obama, and from the Democratic Party and the DNC who allowed our entire election to be rigged. Yet somehow... The modern liberal thinks that Russia rigged the election and Trump rigged the election and he's obstructing justice by tweeting the truth because you can't handle it. It's absolutely pathetic. I mean, what more do you need? It's embarrassing. I get why you wouldn't vote for him. I didn't vote for him either. I get why you'd be confused for a little while. But literally, at this point, you you don't even own your brain. I mean, any rational liberal at some point would be like, you know what? Something's seriously wrong. Like if if the Republican Party was completely hijacked and rigging all of the media and New York Times and Washington, I would say the same thing. I don't care where it falls. I get yelled at by conservatives and Republicans all the time. Oh, you're demonic because you like rap music. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I get yelled at from both sides. I'm just letting you know this is what's happening now. And people want to deflect to the past or make, oh, well, you're just right wing. I'm, I'm reading the left-leaning news. I'm just not, re I'm not like, oh, I believe everything they say because I don't like Trump. It's pathetic. So today, what came out is the, the FBI agent who was fired from the Mueller investigation, who also changed the wording into the Hillary Clinton investigation, they had a bunch of text messages that now people wanted to investigate because all of their corruption came to light. And guess what happened at this point? It's not a Republican conspiracy like the news said it was, and even NPR. Oh, we're balanced, but everything is a Republican conspiracy. Yell at everybody you know because you can't handle the truth. It came out, oh, we don't have the text messages. So they said after all this stuff came out, they lost the text messages. Everybody knows they didn't lose the text messages. They just don't want to tell you what's in the text messages. Because in the text messages is everything they told you for the last two years wasn't happening. They rigged the election. 
They literally worked with Russia. It's not uh, an assumption. They sold 20% of the United States uranium to Russia, and Robert Mueller hand-delivered it to KGB agents on a tarmac. I mean, wake up. $150 million, $140 million flowed to one of the person's foundations, like it was a, a charity offer selling out the country to other countries. We know who worked with Russia. Anyway... They recovered the text messages, and guess what's in the text messages? Literal proof of complete collusion, not this fake conspiratorial, you hate Trump, so you'll believe anything we write. And then you ask for proof, and everyone's like, oh, we don't actually have proof because we've literally been making it up and mind-controlling people because that's how dumb people are, is if you just say it and say it and say it, and then you get them to say it and you get them to say it, the whole world could be outraged over an unsourced anonymous rumor that literally it ever happened. It's happened 20 plus times in the last year. I've done several videos debunking all of them. Uh, but so the, the, excuse me, the text message said, POTUS wants to know everything we're doing. Um, which means that Barack Obama, POTUS, president of the United States at the time, wanted to know everything that the FBI was doing, which is directly the opposite of what James Comey said. He specifically said that he had not consulted with the Justice Department. He had not consulted with the White House. It's the exact opposite of what Barack Obama said, which is, of course, he's like, I would never get involved in the FBI's investigation. It's completely separate from me. I don't even think about it. So Comey lied. Obama lied. I mean, obviously. And then people, well, Trump lied too. Yeah, Trump has lied a few times, but has Trump did he rig the election? Did he rig the entire media? Did he work with, you know, high levels of the government to spy on somebody else? No, that's what Obama was doing. But people think it's a sports game. So it's like it's not even worth even wasting that much energy on. Because at this point, I you have to literally be like a mind-controlled robot. I'm not convinced that people aren't literally robots. And if you want to convince me that you're not a robot, use your brain. Because any liberal person that tells people, yo, you're being lied to, you're being deceived. I mean, it's blatantly obvious. Like I said, it's not just me. It's Glenn Greenwald. It's, um, it's Julian Assange. It's the same progressive. It's H.A. Goodman. It's Caitlyn Johnstone. And these people, when people, well, are you going to criticize Trump? It's these people criticizing Trump. Don't you get it? The same people that are being honest about what Hillary Clinton's doing and what Obama's doing, they're the only ones criticizing Trump. It's not this reality show where it's like, oh, well, he doesn't like his wife and he threw the koi fish food in too early. Oh, no, he threw, he threw fish food in and he holds the water weird. Yeah, that's what the fake news media is doing. They're lying to you about the Russia investigation. They're lying to you about almost everything and keeping you in this giant wave of nonsensical news. It's only people telling the truth about this that are criticizing Trump. And the real liberals get yelled at. They get called right wing. I've been called right wing 30 times. I'm not right wing. People are so mind controlled. The last video I put out about the, the Democratic Party, which has like a million views in a day or two, spoiler alert, because everybody's sick and tired of the BS, even liberals. Um, someone messaged me that was in the video and was like, thank you so much for using me in your video because I used the whole clip, the whole quote. I didn't doctor it. I didn't edit it. I let them speak their piece. They said, thank you so much. Post my band link. I appreciate it, Anomaly. Thank you for the exposure and giving me a platform. They were thanking me. Five hours later, I get this message. Yo, please take the video down. It's right-wing propaganda. I'm like, what the heck? You just went in five hours from saying thank you for broadcasting me to calling me right-wing propaganda because your friend told you so? I mean, this is how my... Why even have a brain? If you're not going to use your brain, you might as well not even have one. I mean, it's pathetic. It's not a sports game. It's not a, oh, the Republican said that, and I listen to a liberal news, so don't read it. Read it. Read what the Republicans are saying. Read what the Democrats are saying. Read what NBC is saying. Read what Fox News is saying. And then use your brain. It's not that hard to tell who's lying. I don't think it was always like this. Oh, well, what about 10 years ago during the Bush administration? I'm not talking about that. 
We could talk about that another time, but this deflection is pathetic. Well, his wife doesn't even like him. So you're equating the fact that his wife, you know, may or may not even like them. That's like a TMZ, like you read it at the grocery store, gossip rumor. You're equating that to somebody who rigged the entire election, rigged the entire media, rigged the debates, rigged the primary, rigged investigations, colluded with high levels of government, used fake documents that they funded themselves to spy on a political opponent, literally bought their entire side of the entire election, started seven and eight wars, did all of this. You're, you're like, it's just pathetic. And I'm tired. It's pathetic. It's beyond the point of delusion. It's the beyond the point of hysteria. What's next? Are you going to round Japanese people up and put them in concentration camps like like people did in the in the 30s because you can't handle the truth? I mean, that's the point it's getting at. Everyone's a Russian. Everyone that doesn't believe my lies is Russian. You're working for Putin. You're blah blah blah. It's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. I mean, literally. And these are the same people that are out firing women. Oh, we hate ourselves, so you can't work with, with F1 drivers. You're not allowed to be a, a grid girl because I hate myself, and I don't like men, and I don't like America, and I want to ruin everything. So now you can't be employed, and you can't be a model, and you can't do this. These are the people that are trying to destroy everything. So bombshell news. The FBI agents who said they lost their text messages didn't lose their text messages, and they said that the president of the United States wants to know everything that we're doing. It's a whole setup. And it goes deeper than Democrat and Republicans. And guess what? If you crack out of this weird liberal bubble, because even the moderate li liberals are lying to you. If you want a real, true liberal that tells you the truth, and I don't even agree with half their policies, but watch H.A. Goodman, read Caitlin Johnstone, listen to the same progressive, listen to Jimmy Dore. There's four or five liberals. If you want true, like, balanced liberal news sources, don't listen to NPR. Don't listen to all these fake podcasts. Don't listen to these people. Listen to Joe Rogan or any of those people I mentioned. They're, excuse me, they're true both sides of the table. They'll criticize Trump. They'll yell at Trump. They'll hold Trump accountable. But they're also not delusional. It's not just left and right anymore. It's complete delusion over people who are like, wake the F up. I mean, it's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. And I'm most embarrassed because the people that are delusional, they're not these people in middle America that are going, oh, you're so dumb because, you, you know, you, your family, you know, is a working class family or whatever. And I'm not hating on that. I'm just saying what makes me most frustrated is these people that are delusional, they have college degrees. They are intelligent people. They are smart people. So it's like you don't have an excuse for being this dumb because you're not dumb. If I thought you were dumb, I would just lie to you, just like everyone else. But I know you're not dumb. I know you're smart. I know you're intelligent. I know you're kind-hearted. I know, you know, liberals are caring people. I know because I come from that background. So there's nothing left about liberalism in what the news is. They're all lying to you every day, and they're spinning everything. Everything on space, Facebook is a spin. Everything on Twitter is a spin. I have not seen one article, I like the ratio, if you want me to be honest, I read hundreds of Twitter uh, news section, out of a hundred things that they post, maybe four of them are halfway honest, and even in that, they have to put a spin to run people away if you're liberal to, into not believing it. They have to tell you it's Republican or right wing, they use that terminology, so... 97% of their stuff is just completely delusional, and the 3% that isn't delusional has a spin to run you back to the delusion. So these social media accounts are lying to you on the highest levels. It's not just like a balanced sort of thing. You're being deceived from the highest levels. And I don't know how nicer to put it. I mean, the evidence is just stacking up and stacking up and stacking up and stacking up. I get five months ago, oh, we don't know, we don't know. Ooh, Trump said he's wiretapped. We know now. There's evidence. There's all of this stuff. It's mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. And you'll literally let these people start seven wars. You'll let them fund terrorists. You'll let them destroy entire countries. You'll let them arm other countries with weapons. You'll let them give a billion dollars in cash to Iran. You'll let them do rig the entire election. Why? 
because they're a Democrat, so you think that's okay? And then these same people are like, oh, we're going to vote for Democrats in the election because we need... I mean, that that's who you want in power? I'm not even saying to vote for a Republican. Just find a good person. And when there is a good Democrat that runs, I'll give you another example of how balanced news is lying to people. I saw this on the Jimmy Dore show and I listened to it, who is a liberal uh, who doesn't lie all the time. NPR was talking about Dennis Kucinich, who is a liberal. He is a Democrat. He's very, he's actually very left wing. He's like more left wing than a lot of Democrats. And they pitched him as a Fox News host. I mean, he goes on Fox News sometimes because he's not allowed to say the truth on other news networks. And they're like, oh, there's a Fox guy running. So even when a good liberal runs, the most balanced liberal news lies to your face about every single thing. Even an honest liberal, even a fair investigation, free society, I mean, actual elections that aren't rigged, I don't understand how you can be this delusional. Liberalism and the Democratic Party has leeches on it. There's leeches all over it. There's scarabs running up your skin. And I'm trying to tell you, hey, everything that you believe, everything that you love has been hijacked by criminals. Hijacked by criminals. Every, all of your values, all of these belief systems that you love and that I love, that you oppose Republicans for, that's fine. I'm not saying you have to be a Republican. I'm not saying you have to be anti-abortion and all of that stuff. I don't care, but look in the mirror and everything that you love, feminism, activism, social justice, equality, being a better person. Oh, I'm such a better person than Republicans. They're so dumb. You've been lied to. Your whole news networks have been completely hijacked and anybody liberal that tells the truth is smeared as a Russian or a right-wing agent. I'm not making this up. This is not a movie. This is not a conspiracy. This is the world that we live in. So unless you want there to be a complete technocracy where your brain gets removed and Elon Musk sends it to Mars and Facebook, Twitter, and Google literally own your soul, I mean, wake the F up and reclaim your party. Reclaim the Democratic Party because no one wants to vote for you. Why would we vote with those politicians? Oh, you're a bad person because you just told me the truth. You're right wing. You think you're going to guilt me into believing these lies? You think you're going to guilt me into supporting people who literally collude with the highest levels of government and rig the elections and lie about everything? They lie about security. They lie about safety. They lie about the refugee crisis. They lie about all the wars. They lie about the border security. They lie about Russia investigations. They lie about collusions with other countries. They lie about collusions with, with domestic corporations. That You think you're going to guilt me into liking that stuff by calling me names? Oh, well, you're a bad person, so you got to... No, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Nothing. Beyond nothing. There's corruption there. There's criminality there. And yes, absolutely it goes both ways. And guess who knows that it goes both ways? Hold on, let me think. Oh, the same people I've talked about before. Progressive liberals who get smeared as Russians and Trump supporters. They're the ones that know. We know the Republican Party's corrupt. Everyone, no one's hiding it. It's just you can't like have a balanced discussion. Oh, well, the Republicans are bad people. We know. We're trying to drain the swamp of Republicans too. We know which Republicans are corrupt. Mitt Romney, John McCain, who's supporting the, the corrupt Republicans? It's liberals now. They've been mind controlled to literally support. Oh, well, that John McCain guy is not such a bad guy. Hmm, Mitt Romney's pretty cool now. Oh, George Bush is on Ellen and Jimmy Kimmel as a painter. I mean, it's liberals that are supporting Republicans too. Liberalism has been hijacked. I'm sorry. Feminism has been hijacked. And much love to the good, you know, Me Too moments that actually out these weirdo guys that should be outed for like, you know, sleeping with 13 year olds and stuff. I agree. That's disgusting. That's disturbing. And those people should be outed. So for that, I applaud the social justice warriors for finally doing something right. But every, like politically, all of these communities have been hijacked. And I'm not the enemy. I'm not Russian. I'm not Republican. I'm not conservative. I'm a concerned liberal who is very concerned with how mind controlled, brainwashed and hijacked even the moderate liberals become. But I know I told you why. I know why it's happening. 
It's because everybody's lying. And I know it sounds like this crazy thing and people say, well, you know, it's not everybody lying. Like they probably think they're doing the right thing. For sure, yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying that, oh, everybody's a bad person. If you listen to anything that I ever say, I say nobody's a bad person. I'm not mad at a single person. I have no enemies. I'm not hateful, I'm not negative. I don't, I don't think people are bad people. I know they're being controlled. I know they're being useful idiots. There's a few people who know exactly what's going on, but they have so much media power and control, and on a, you know, a scale of what some people consider a cultural Marxism, it's a whole, there's books about it. I mean, some of the most maniacal leaders in history, how do you think they gained so much political power? You think they did it by yelling at everybody and hating everybody and being this big, bad, scary guy who's saying these mean things to people? No, they did it with propaganda. They did it with media manipulation. Some of the most cruel and dysfunctional societies in history, they did so just like this by turning people into useful idiots. Oh, well, we got to... We got to stop their agenda and we got to stop these people. But meanwhile, they don't know what they're doing. This is not uncommon. I'm not saying people are bad people. But what I am saying is, for one reason or another, Facebook's lying, Twitter's lying, Google's lying, NPR's lying, CNN's lying, NBC's lying, MSNBC's lying. And anytime they do tell the truth, which is 3% of the time, they do so in a way to funnel you right back to the lie. They're like, here's what they're saying, but... You know, they're just right-wing guys, too. And then you're like, oh, well, I'm not right-wing, so that's just a bunch of right-wing stuff. I mean, it's 95, if it went the other way, and it was all right-wing people running all this media rampant, I would say the same thing. I don't pick sides. I don't care. But it shows me how far liberalism has fallen and how far the public left-wing has fallen. If I say a basic, decent truth trying to reform the party that's supposed to be for the people, that is now the party of criminals, that is now the party of rigging elections, that is now the party of rigging debates, that is now the party of rigging the entire Democratic side, that is now the party of funding and creating fake documents to hand to FISA courts to spy on people 10 times worse than Watergate with all of these text messages talking about, uh, I mean, this, this stuff... This makes Watergate look like a droplet of water. This is 10,000 times as much. And if it were in the direction of Trump, guess what? I would say, lock the guy up. Trust me, I don't, I don't have like this attachment to Trump where I'm gonna let all of these horrible things go by and be like, oh, he's a good guy even though he rigged the whole election and uh, I'm a Republican, so I'm just gonna let him uh, control the whole media and mind control people into like believe in complete fabrications. If Trump was doing it, I'd say the same thing. Lock him up. But it's not him. And unfortunately, liberals are so prideful. This is what I hated about conservatives. Conservatives used to annoy me because they're very stubborn. Sorry, conservatives. Very prideful. And, you know, very, you know, above anything, just stubborn. Not trying to hear anything. Not trying to listen. Trump came through, kind of switched up the game. Uh, now... Liberals who claim science and claim open-mindedness are like more stubborn. It's embarrassing. It's like they just don't want to be wrong. So they're just like, oh, well, no, I, th I think it's like it's every day more and more bombshells come out. And it's concerning me because it's like, what more do you need? I don't know what else could possibly come out like a year ago. Yeah, for sure. Who knows what's happening? But now we know. It's not a conspiracy, it's in NBC. It's, I mean, they probably won't put it in CNN or they'll spin it in some way, but we know now there's 20 times enough evidence to hold these people accountable, and I'm all for holding Republicans accountable as well. I mean, some of these Republicans were in with the Democrats. There's reports that they're funding moderate rebels, aka terrorists, who are, you know, destroying the Middle East. So, Lock them up too. I don't care. Republicans, Democrats, it's not a big thing to me, but this delusion is getting out of control. I mean, what more has to happen? They rigged, before I leave, they rigged the entire primary. They bought the DNC. Imagine if Trump bought the Republican Party. He'd be impeached in a second. Liberals, wake the F up. You guys are creeping us out. Like, what is wrong with you? They rigged the whole primary. They bought the DNC. These are not conspiracies. All the proof is there. They rigged the whole election. 
The whole media is lying on their behalf. They're not lying for liberal values. They're lying on behalf of the biggest criminals, two-faced hypocrites on the planet. Every aspect of the election was rigged by the DNC, by the Democrats, and even higher levels, Obama and Hillary. And it's all out there. And then after the election, they're spying, and during the election, they're spying on their political opponent, spying on them with doc documents that they made and Yahoo articles that they wrote. They're working with the highest levels of government to cover up any sort of investigation. I mean, I thought this was common sense. This is so embarrassing. This is so pathetic that I even have to be here to say this, and I'm not gonna lie. Most of the time I'm cool, most of the time I'm calm, most of the time I'm collected, but it's past the point of delusion. It's past the point of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy and delusion was last year. It was last year's Grammys. It was last year's Emmys. Now at this point, it's pathetic. It's just straight pathetic that people want to ignore all this and just make up their own narrative because their their random news source is telling them that it's I don't know. It's it's a Republican. It's a Republican thing to have fair elections. It's a Republican thing to have a media that's not protecting the highest war criminals on the planet who literally funded terrorists. Who literally did that? Killed multiple leaders, tried to kill another leader, which resulted in slave trade. I mean, these are the foulest people on the planet. And yes, it goes both, it goes Democrat and Republican if you take your head out of your ass and stop listening to fake liberal news sources who just tell you this weird made up story that they've been talking about all year. And now they're too probably too embarrassed to tell you the truth because now that it's coming out, they're like, well, how do we tell our audience that we lied to them the whole year and we were wrong about everything? It's not an easy thing to do. When you're that fake, it's a lifestyle. You don't tell the truth all of a sudden. You just lie and lie and lie. But we know who it is. It's just so pathetic at this point. I mean, what more has to come out? I don't even want to be here talking anymore. But I'm done playing. I'm done, I'm done acting dumb. Like, oh, well, hmm. Let's be really, really, really nice to these people because guess what? When you're really, 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 really nice to people, then they start attacking women. Oh, you have a job and now you can't have a job. They start attacking men. They start going to schools and teaching kids, like teaching three-year-olds about you have white privilege. They're literally doing that in certain schools now, teaching five-year-olds this, this ridiculous stuff. So that's what happens. So you know what? It's all, it's all love at the end of the day, but... I don't have, my patience is running thin. My, my, uh, you know, my excuses are running thin for these people that are intelligent. Millions of people who are very smart, have college degrees, you know, are into all of this stuff. Very smart people. If you were dumb, if people were dumb, I would just say, you know what, F it. But there's millions of smart people that need to get your head out of your butt. It's not a liberal thing. It's not a Democrat thing. It's not a Republican thing. It's not a right-wing thing. It's 95% of the media acting like they're liberal. They're, they're telling you they're, unba they're balanced and they're fair. And yeah, we're left-leaning, but we're kind of telling the truth. They're lying to you on the highest levels. They made up an entire Ru Trump-Russia collusion to hide the fact that they rigged the election, that they spied on him, and that they actually... <laughs> worked with Russia and received money from Russia. All of the proof of money from Russia is on Hillary's side. Her, her foundation got $140 million. Bill Clinton did $500,000 speeches for the Kremlin. I mean, it's just so blatantly obvious, but I understand. I understand why people don't get it because every social media is lying to them. Google lies to them. The TV lies to them. Snopes lies to them. PolitiFact lies to them, even Wikipedia lies to them. I mean, it's it's getting Orwellian, even to the point where they finally switched it back once they got enough scrutiny, but Google changed uh, the definition of an actual, like, I, I don't know if it was fascism or whatever, but they changed the definition. They're changing definitions from things that have historically been extremists on the left wing, and trust me, there's, uh, there's extremists on the right wing, absolutely. Any sort of totalitarianism, fascism, lifestyle, is dangerous. I'm not saying that, but you have leftists, they're not even liberals, they're fake liberals like fascists, they're changing the dictionary. They're trying to like burn down statues to rewrite history. I'm 
I, I could care less about a statue of any Confederate or Democrat. I don't really give a shit, to be honest. But the same people that are lying to you about everything, they're setting up fake fact-checking news organizations. They're trying to tear down statues. They're literally rewriting the dictionary. I mean, this isn't a left versus right thing. This is like an Orwellian totalitarianism society of people who start wars, rig elections, and kill people versus like a, hey, do you want to have some sort of law and order? I don't know. Like, shouldn't we have a few set of rules or not? Are we just going to like pretend like we're good people and, you know, we're the, we're the people. We're better than you. We love people. Meanwhile, you just destroy the entire society that we live in because... I don't know, to stop the other side. I'm just so far beyond disappointed. I'm so far beyond patient. Um, my, my patience has run very thin because with the story today that Obama was overseeing and wanted to know everything that the FBI do, was doing, I mean, now all of the stuff that people have been saying for years and people have been saying for weeks and months, it's no longer a conspiracy. It's no longer a silly thing to say. It's a complete fact for everyone to see. But nothing matters if everybody hates Trump so much that this doesn't matter. If everybody hates Republicans so much, and to be fair, to be balanced, Republicans and conservatives, you can do a better job to make liberals not hate you. You know, uh, Don't yell at them, baby killers all the time. Here's just some little you know, pointers to not getting liberals to hate you so much. Don't scream baby killer all the time. Don't, you know, try to, you know, force stuff down their face like they stuff down your face. It, it definitely goes both ways. So uh, to be honest, conservatives and Republicans can do a much better job of, of getting the message across and not getting liberals to hate them. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, to me, this is, this is a bipartisan issue. It's talking about our entire like way of life and that it's been completely hijacked so much love thank you guys so much a little bit of a spicier news stream today but you know at what point do people wake up like it's just embarrassing i'm just i'm embarrassed for other people i'm embarrassed for my people i'm embarrassed for people that i'm not fighting these are the people I'm trying to wake up because these are some of our brightest minds, our liberal minds, our democratic minds. These are scientists. These are explorer, explorers. These are social justice activists. And if Hillary Clinton and the media has them mind controlled, then we're not going to accomplish anything with our best people. I want our scientists to be doing science and starting companies and, you know, exploring justice. And I want our social justice warriors to be building houses and helping people and, you know, what I'm saying helping families. But the media has them mind controlled to the fact that they're like robots who are doing the opposite of social justice. They're like ruining people's lives. They're taking jobs from women and they're trying to like oust a president who is literally a godsend, who is literally his presence. We never would have known, even if you hate him with all of your heart and might, we never would have known all of this stuff if he hadn't won. We would have been a victim to this stuff, a real victim, not a fake, I feel victimized because I cried and I don't know, I feel, I'm having a bad day. I'm talking about our entire society being a victim to a whole system that's working against us. So even if you hate Trump with all your heart, his presence is a godsend. This information should be understood by everybody. And I'm telling you, before I leave, this is not a right-wing conspiracy. It's not a Republican conspiracy. I'm sorry that Twitter's lying to you. I'm sorry that Facebook's lying to you. I'm sorry that Google's lying to you. I'm sorry that li all liberal news sources are lying to you. And I'm sorry that the honest people on the left, and like I said, I don't agree with all of their policies. I don't agree with all of their content. But Jimmy Dore tells the truth about this stuff. Caitlin Johnstone tells the truth about this stuff. The same progressive tells the truth about this stuff. Julian Assange tells the truth about this stuff. And Glenn Greenwald tells the truth about this stuff. And once again, I don't agree with everything they say. I don't line up with all of their policies and stuff, but I respect them as people because those are five liberals I just mentioned who tell the truth about what's going on. So if you are liberal and people, I know there's a lot of people that listen to me that are liberal and a lot of people that get upset or whatever. Listen to those people. If you want to listen to a liberal, I'm all for it. I am a liberal. I, I will fight for you know LGBT rights and I will not let you know, the president of the United States attacked people based on their race, religion, and gender. In that way, 
I am there with liberalism, but there's a difference between all of that stuff happening and you running in circles because the corporate news is lying to you not to help black people or to help Muslim people. They're lying to you to cover up their own crimes. They're not helping anybody. You're not helping anybody. You're covering up the crimes of the foulest people who are destroying life for people of every race, religion, and gender. So that's the message here. It's not to hate on one side of the political debate. It's to get you, to get your brain off of the mind control and to get it onto honest liberals. Glenn Greenwald, same progressive, Caitlin Johnstone. If you want a liberal who actually tells the truth, listen to them, put them into your repertoire because just reading one or two articles from them will smash the illusion of the fake news media, of fake sites and fake fact check sites that lie and fake, oh, we're balanced, but we're really not balanced uh, stations. They'll shatter that illusion and once it's shattered, You'll never believe a single thing they say again, not because you're under a spell or whatever, but because it's all fake. I mean, it's obvious. Like you read the headline, then you read the article. All you have to do is actually read the article. I'm not saying to not read it and to not listen to it. Listen to everything, but it, they're, they're just making up complete fabricated outrage over nothing. Literally nothing. It's not a partisan issue. And I will, and I have, said the same thing about Republicans. I was the only one talking about what George Bush was doing. Listen to my rap music from 2008. I was saying stuff when other liberals were being silent. I'll say the same thing against conservatives or Republicans. I don't care. I'll get yelled at. They'll call me demonic and stuff, I'm sure, at some point. I'll say something and I'll get called satanic <laughs> by Republicans and conservatives. I don't care. I'm going to say what needs to be said and we can all take it from there. So don't, don't think it's a sideways thing. I say this because I do care and I see what's happening. Not 20 years ago, I see what's happening now and it's a huge, huge deal. So once again, check it out. Obama wants to know everything that we're doing. It's just obvious. I mean, I, I don't know at what point. Whatever, we could talk all day about this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here and do some other stuff. Thank you guys so much. If you'd like to support uh, the movement, I'm gonna put my link below. I appreciate you guys. It's been able to let me expand. Like I said, I'm starting a news network. I got a green screen. I'm doing all this cool stuff because you've allowed me to spend more time and energy on this stuff, and I love it. Uh, it's important, and I don't know what else I'd be doing at this point, so I'm gonna put that link below. Shirts and hats at dreamrare.com. My social media is at the beginning of this broadcast and also my email link which is free will be in the description much love much peace blessings to everybody but please just consider it cuz like i just i mean literally if if we can't get, if we can't get to the point with this stuff and we can't come to a bipartisan conclusion of like hey we need to get things a little bit more right I don't see, like, where's the Democratic Party going? I'm just trying to help. This stuff is ridiculous, and this goes for Republicans, too. All right, we're done. I'm not, I could talk about this all day.